All right, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a quick news update uh, for you guys. The level of access uh, for uh, powerful and rich people like Bill Gates is absolutely astonishing. And, and how many times on this channel we've been exposing people like Bill Gates and other globalist uh, bored rich people who get into philanthropy and you know, the charity work and because of that they get access to power um, but there's presidents prime ministers and now future kings and monarchs so uh, i saw this um on uh, gb news website it says uh, prince william to meet with bill gates as he makes a second pivotal u.s trip um so it, he's not actually directly traveling to america just to meet with uh, Bill Gates, but uh, it, Bill Gates is going to be present among many other powerful people who's going to be meeting him at this prize summit in, in New York. So yeah, Prince William is set to meet the co-founder of uh, Microsoft as he goes to New York. Uh, speaking on uh, um, uh, during the breakfast show on GB News, Cameron Walker, who's uh, GB News' royal reporter, uh, gave, gave the details. He said, the highlight is uh, the Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit happening on Tuesday, so tomorrow, where the 15 finalists of this year's Earthshot Prize will be unveiled. The different categories are uh, Protect and Restore Nature, Clean Out Air, Revive Our Oceans, <laughs> Build a Waste-Free World, and Fix Our Climates. Yeah, and 15, these 15 finalists are going to unveil on the showcast their solutions to repair our planet. Yeah. Because they're going to fix the planet. <laughs> what a mess. Anyway, uh, this prize uh, is, is a prize that Prince William founded a few years ago. All right. There is also expected uh, to be some uh, very high profile guest speakers, including Bill Gates and Bloomberg. Yep, another one who sponsors the event. And also the former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern. Oh, it's such a, it's like a Christmas dinner with all the family members, all the idiots. So. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is Justin Trudeau. Um, anyway, Walker said, Prince William is, as I said, dubbed the, the global statesman. Very famous on the world stage. He's expected to take part in a number of diplomatic meetings here in New York, which is fine. Uh, he will be meeting the United Nations General Secretary General, uh, Guthrie's, uh, who, who, and he's also expected to meet other world leaders. Fair enough, but... Later on today, the Prince of Wales is expected to visit a local organization, helping restore the New York Harbor and everything else. But the interesting thing about this, even though GB News are the only people who mentioned it, it was just a subtle, very quick mention. There hasn't been any digging into this story properly yet. Um, so I'm going to find out exactly what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, because we're not going to get the actual details of what sort of conversations they have. This is a problem, by the way. But we could find out. Uh, if there's any statement from Team Gates uh, or any tweets from the foundation or all that nonsense, and maybe just follow the money trail, <laughs> see if there's going to be any anyone from Saudi with a suitcase of cash or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, of course, uh, where there is money, where there is powerful people, you can find uh, Bill Gates. Uh, where there is chaos, uh, there is Bill Gates. Uh, where, <laughs> where there is this course will bring harmony but uh, without Bill, Bill Gates this is absolutely fascinating by the way because one of the main issues that we've been talking about on this channel is the fact that the corporate media are, seem to be protecting a lot of these individuals so technically you are able you're allowed to criticize the prime minister ministers MPs uh, you can even criticize Prince William you can criticize the king you can do that but if the moment you criticize a few names. All right, ready? Bill Gates, George Soros, Michelle Obama, and, and these sort of types of people, Klaus Schwab. You will be categorized as, 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 as a nutter with a tinfoil hat on. You're simply criticizing them, by the way. You're not doing anything crazy. You're simply saying, this individual said this last week, and they came up with an idea. I don't like the idea. They say, no, you're not allowed to. I mean, if you criticize uh, George Soros, they'll just call you an anti-Semite. <laughs> if you criticize uh, Bill Gates, uh, you're, um, I don't know, nerdophobe or something. <laughs> and uh, all the others as well. If, yeah, if you criticize Klaus Schwab, then you're basically a national socialist. Uh, it's, it's, it's fascinating. But this is where we are going with the level of debate or lack of uh, debate. So everything's been shut down. You're not allowed to even ask questions, let alone find out the truth. Anyway, 
Best of luck to William and the other William. Uh, find out uh, what's going to happen in tomorrow's uh, meeting. This uh, nonsensical prize <laughs> on my 2C. And we are the media.